with this review, we start with a nice white box. But sometimes one is never enough, so let's get an even bigger white box. Back to the small one, and the box is high quality with a yellow dot, probably indicating the colour of the model. And if we look underneath, there are some words. And this is an XEMG mixer truck in 1 to 35 scale. It is very nicely presented because the box is covered with shrink wrap. And the cardboard used for the box is nice and thick. Lifting the lid, there's an XEMG models brochure. And if we take off the top tray there, we see the model wrapped in soft paper. So let's take that off and it reveals a nice colourful truck mixer. The giant hand crane carefully lifts it out. And let's see what else is in the box. There's a bag of small parts. The bigger box is also very nicely presented in shrink wrapping. And in addition to the model's catalogue, this one also has an instruction sheet. It is simple enough, but it is all in Chinese. Once again, it's off with the lid. And again, the model is nicely protected by soft paper. This concrete pump is an XCMG HB56K, and it's got a seven section boom. Once again, the giant hand crane gets used, and this is a heavy lift. Out of the box, there are a couple of small bags, and there's some more packaging to remove before we can use the model. One very nice touch to stop the boom moving about during shipping are these nice ribbons. The only thing to do to get the models ready to use is to fit this chute onto the truck mixer. And it's nicely designed because there's a little magnet which makes sure it sticks to the side of the truck. We will start with the truck mixer and underneath the detailing is good but many of the parts are modelled in plastic, and that includes the various tanks. But the sidebars are metal. The tyres have a fairly simple tread pattern, and it's the same on both the front and rear axles. Also modelled in plastic are the front and rear mud flaps. But the colour match on all the parts is very good, and the cab is also nicely modelled. The detail includes graphics on the sun visor, and an indicator on the door mirrors. Also looking good is the front grille and the main headlights. The access steps have texture and behind the cab there's a metal water tank complete with hoses. There's also hoses running to the drum motor. The drum is a nice metal part with an access cover and a highlight is the decoration including the very sharp graphics. At the back there are access ladders on both sides and they are modelled in tough flexible plastic. That also applies to the step at the bottom. The rear bumper is metal, and there's some more detailing in terms of graphics at the back, and the lights have plastic lenses. Moving on to the concrete pump, and it's of a similar standard. The transmission is fully modelled, and again there are tanks and other parts modelled in plastic. The tyres also have a fairly simple tread design. The cab on the pump is a Mercedes-Benz Actros, and it's a somewhat simple looking design. But there are some nice aspects to it, including the grab rails and headlights. Again, the steps are textured, and the wheels have a somewhat simple and unusual design. Moving to the sides, the big outrigger beam is nicely modelled, with plenty of sharp graphics. A really nice feature of the big boom is that it's all made of metal, and that includes all of the pipework. Again, sharp graphics add to the detail. And looking at the rear of the carrier, there are textured walkways. And the hopper has a grille and nicely detailed internal parts. On with the features review and we start with a truck mixer. And the rear wheels are fixed to common axles and there's decent steering on the front axle. Only when you steer the wheels to the maximum do they foul on the wheel arches. This is a big and relatively heavy model so it rolls very nicely. And by setting the steering you get a realistic pose. And it also turns at a reasonably sharp angle. The model features a tilting cab. And when it tilts it stays tilted. And underneath there's a detailed plastic engine. And maybe one or two coloured components would have looked nice. 
The model also features something fairly unusual, and that's opening cab doors. And a pointer is supplied with the model to help get it open. Although it's difficult to see, the interior detail is very good inside the cab. The mixer drum is nice and big, and it's good fun giving it a spin. There's also a nice little detail on the chute, and that's because it has a tiny latch, which locks it in position. So it stops the chute spraying concrete around the display case as it drives along. Also nice is the extension chute, which just clips over. And it gives you a different option for posing the model. Moving on to the big concrete pump and the rear wheels are also fixed to common axles. And this bigger chassis has linked steering at the front. The range of steering is moderate, but as we always say, something is better than nothing. This pump truck is very heavy, and so that helps it to roll nicely. And with the steering set, you can trace out a shallow curve. The Actros cab also has the feature of opening doors. And the fit is so good you do need the pointer provided. Let's now check out the concrete pump features, so firstly we need to go for some stability. And the front outriggers are telescopic, whilst the big long rear outriggers fold out. The outrigger beams are stiff enough to hold the pose that you might set. And you lower the pads by unscrewing, but that does reveal screw threads. So with all the pads down we can now raise the boom, and it goes up very easily. And the reason for that is the first stage has a lockable ram. And because the loads are high there are actually two methods. You can tighten up grub screws with the supplied key. Or if you want something even more solid, you can put a pin into the piston. So let's just lock off the first boom section in an upright position. And then we can begin to unfold the boom. All of the other rams are stiff and work by friction to hold a pose. And they do a pretty good job of it. As you can see, the whole of the boom can rotate, and it rotates through 360 degrees. And although nominally this is a five section boom, the last two sections are also split in half, complete with rams. So actually you've got seven sections in total. At the end of the boom, as you would expect, there is a concrete placing hose. The last feature to look at is the hopper, and it has an opening lid. And a nice thing about this pump is that the truck mixer we've been looking at forms a nice display combination. These are big models in 1 to 35 scale, and you can see how much bigger the truck mixer is than a 1 to 50 scale model. Let's get the tape out and see if it will in fact fit in your display case. And end to end it's about 11 inches or 28 centimeters. The concrete pump is also 1 to 35 scale, so it's big, and it's heavy with its all metal boom. So that gives us an excuse to get the cranes etc. Weybridge working. And it's two and a half kilos or five and a half pounds. Just for a size comparison, here it is with a 150 scale pump next to it. And we'll start by measuring the outrigger dimensions. And side to side, it's about 14 inches or 35 centimeters. And end to end, the pads are 13 inches or 33 centimeters. We always like to get high on cranes, etc. So let's get our boom up and put the tape on it. And in this pose it's 52 inches or 132 centimetres. These are two nice XEMG models which are impressive because of their size. The level of detailing is mostly very good. And there's a good selection of working features on both these models. The other main plus point is that these models are at a good price point considering the size and overall they're very good.